Breaking news at six, an assistant lacrosse coach at the Canterbury School is accused of molesting a child. This is Thomas Dean. He was a history teacher and this week the school fired him. Deputies arrested Dean after they say he molested a child whom he met on a dating app. We know that victim is between the ages of 12 and 16 years old and we know they are not a student at Canterbury. NBC2's Gage Golding is live outside the private school talking to students who got the news today. Yeah, Peter, Thomas Dean, 30 years, years old, was arrested and booked into the Lee County Jail this morning. This is after a long investigation, one that started back in February. That's when a parent of a child who's under the age of 16 called the FBI, accusing Dean of molesting their son. And brand new information that I just learned from students in the last hour here is that Dean was in the classroom yesterday teaching history. But not this morning. That's what they say. He was not in class this morning. The teacher and assistant coach is accused of meeting a minor on the dating app Grinder last December. Dean and the underage boy talked before meeting in Benita Springs. That's where Dean lives. The victim told investigators that Dean touched him inappropriately and performed oral sex. I had him this year. This is my first year ever with him. I took AP Gov. Nothing suspicious about him in my class. I was astounded, really. I mean, knowing who this faculty member is, this does not... You know, this is really unexpected for who he is as a person. The head of the school sent a letter to parents this afternoon alerting the Canterbury community of what happened. They shared that Dean no longer works at the school. Now, speaking of the Canterbury community, students I spoke with so far want to make this utterly clear that what happened with their assistant coach, their assistant uh, coach of boys lacrosse and the history teacher is not reflective of what the Canterbury community stands for. I'm reporting live in Fort Myers tonight, Gage Golding, NBC2.